Yeonjong, welcome to Me Living Channel. Today I am going to demonstrate and teach my son how to make the authentic Hmong tofu. Yeonjong, Jong Pong Yu na, no no, we are la mo share me ji la yo. Khia ku tu mi tu, hai tia pei Hmong tu zu, wo tau ba tau zhuo no yo Jong ni jia. This is a recipe share with me by a dear friend of mine from South Carolina. The no yo ikha recipe wo mong jiao tau ba tau zhuo gu yi tu pong yu zhong nyo to South Carolina. Ni tai ba jai nu sa go gu ba mo kha recipe no jiao la mu uo jiao hao YouTube e te liyo jeng tau to pe jiao mi yo mong ya ton de ton tau xiong mu bo hai tie pei mong tu zu wo tau ba tau zhuo no yo zhong ni jia no no e wo zhao zhao tai ba jai tie so what I have in this bag, I have some soybean seeds that I'm going to pour into the bowl to soak with water. If you have time, you must soak the soybean seeds in water overnight. Or if you do not have time, you have to soak at least six hours or more so that the soybean seeds will get soft and then it's easier to blend. Cho nung tao pao no, yo ka mo si hao thiết con yo ka che, ko yo tao chao yi mo e ko ta ki nu mo lo che ka ma lo jo thi rong. Yo hai tiya ko chi mo si hao chao na che ko yo chu chao ta cha li chao so mong lo yo cha shao na. E ko cho nung tao pao no, thiya li mo thao ko la mu jo ka thiya jo tao rong. Also, remember when you soak the soybean seeds in the bowl, you must have plenty of water in the bowl, probably about one third water more than the seeds, because eventually during those many hours, the seeds is going to uh, get larger. Therefore, you want to have a lot of water in the bowl so there's enough water to soak the seeds. You only soak it in cold water. Do not do warm or hot water. Cho đây giờ là mùi rỡ thế trâu cho tàu nó nơi chè xì đây chè xí nữa, xó xì đây xó thế đây cú á, cho phải cho trâu ít nón nè, lấy cho trâu ít mòn nè. So what I usually do the first round is rinse the first round, pour it out, and then the second round leave it the water in the bowl. Cho cái thau tàu nó chè của cái rỡ cho nón tàu nó miếng chì, chè của cái mối cho đây nó chì bỏ chè. Okay. And then add more water. Get the cat choice to the law. Our soybean seeds are have been soaked for more than six hours and now we are going to rinse a couple times and put it in the colander to drain before we blend it. Okay. This lesson is teaching my son how to make the authentic Hmong tofu. Rinse one more time. More water. Perfect. Yeah, just pour it into the colander. Get no more. Get no bao bao and chua. Don't look shaky, la na. Perfect. Yeah. 
We are now ready to blend the soybean seeds with water. The notje umpa to yolamu jo cho nong to no xiao dei na. The measurement to blend the soybean seeds with water is kho yo lo lu he tie shi cho nong to bao li cha dei bao li cha the li jo to cho cho kuo cho mu wo to pa to chuo no yo li na na. The measurement is we're going to use one cup of soybean seeds per one and a half cup water. Kalu ya la mu jo na na ya phong yu ya mo lu measuring cup e kho na la mu lu e kho nong tao pao ke e kho the in that day to ho lu blender jo na e jo tu ke ku tu mi tu ya la mu lu pe kho nong tao pao na to lu blender ke jo dei ya plau kho the in da na so the measurement again it's one cup soybean seeds per one cup and half water. Each time my son is going to measure three cups of soybean seeds into the blender, that equals four and a half cups of water. Okay? So, so there he has one cup. Okay, one cup soybean seeds. Perfect. Two cups. The now you look all color, no? Three cups, he's going to measure four and a half cups of water. Can you look blow coffee in that day? Oh, you gotta fill the cup to the top. Okay, that's one. No, to the top. Two to the top. Three, three cups, bake hot day. Four blow per day, and that is the one half cup. Four and a half cups water. Can do you blow coffee in that day, na? We are using two blenders to blend, so it's quicker. Can do na ushi all blender la jo na. Each time you blend the soybean seeds with water, we're going to blend it about two minutes. Okay. We're going to pour everything into the big bowl and then when we're all done blending, we are going to uh, sift uh, and filter the Blended soybean. U yo jo chuo tan tho jo nong tao bao jie mon chuo do lu tai pian ne yi mi chi jo ta ma li jiao la mu li tie jo yo jo guo. Perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. What I have here to use to filter the blended soybean is a bag, a one hundred percent cotton that I sew. The no yo lu na na lu na ku shi jian dao yi bo bo sen ka en jia la mu shi sao jia la mu zhao jia guo dao no wan dei jia mu hao jia mu wo dao ba dao zhuo no na. So I'm just rolling down the bag and then scoop the blended soybean into the bag. Jie gu dao jia dao li na li jia hao shi jie yi mu zhao jia guo na. You want to do a little bit at a time. You don't want to do. You don't want to fill up the bag. Thầu có cho cho cô nó chè có hay ít khó như dù sức có chỉ xóa mua đầu phụng cầu lúc nãy nè đầu phụng cầu lúc nãy nè chè nè nhả nhả đồ dù chè như nhua đồ dù cho nè just like this. Okay, squeeze the juice out the soybean juice out. Có cho thì nó sẽ chè cả tàu cho cô tàu nó tàu lo. We are going to filter the soybean the second time. Nó nó chế ư lì nè, ư lì thơ thơ tỏ hồ lúc ná tà chế ư lì tỏ thị o nè. Ok, filter the second time. That should be good. Yeah, you can leave that. Ok, this is the third time we are filtering the soybean. Jo nó như rau bé nè, rau bé lì rau cơn cầu, cho họ lúc nó cấu về, cho cho một tấn nè, cho 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 tàu ba tàu chua này cho một tấn nè. Nó có tụi mi á chừng, 
ta tỏ lỉ cho họ lúc nó câu nè Yêu chú lì yêu dung lì nó thê lì chí mô phô bông cho họ ấy có tên tàu cho tàu thê lì dung câu thê cá nè You want to make sure you filter it very well so there is no pop dropping into the milk and then uh, the turnout of your cooking of the tofu can be very smooth and good. The next step is to show what I use to um, make the tofu so the tofu would be solidified. Con dí mô kê dò chó cua câu nè, chó cua câu ở dò xí cho là một tên chó tẩu ba tẩu chua nè, ế thê lì khó ở tẩu ba tẩu chua. So this is a, you have to use a 100% apple juice, no sugar added. Nó nó lúc tâu nè nè, cú xí chó ở cua apple juice, ý bùa bùa xe nè ế chí mô bè thà tỏ xơ nè, cho nó thê lì dòng ạ. And the measurement of the apple juice is one cup apple juice mixed with one cup cold water. Just use the cold water from the sink. My son now is mixing the apple juice and water before we uh, get to the stove to cook the tofu. Let's open up this one, add this one on here. Now he's adding water, the same Rachel. Nu yo la mu to de shim pao jo, do cho ku apple juice na. When mixing, preparing the apple juice mixture here, it's always best to have more than not enough. Thầu có lo tỏ cho cô apple juice nó thọt đây nè. Yêu chủ tỏ còn tao á, có tỏ còn tao ấy có xí chỉ ta rong cha li thầu, có tá tỏ tan có cho tỏ hỗn lo cấu ấy có cho cô cấu chỉ giàu nè. If there are bubbles in the pot before cooking, you want to. Remove all the bubbles before you cook. Yo hai tia thau co li cho ta co tao tai mu mu am pua na. Chỉ co chu mi da dia sa chi mo mo li na cho la mu gi cho bua co ta un de co cho mu tan ngo the li rong na. So just remove all of the bubbles from the pot. And it's now boiling, so I am now adding the apple juice mixture. Ta chi no no cho phong yu. And at the same time, I am reducing the heat to lower. Just continue wherever you see boiling bubble up, you want to add the apple juice. Just continue wherever you see boiling up, and then I am going to, on this side, scoop out the hot water and then pour it over the tofu. You want to make sure that the sour gets evenly into the tofu pot. Again, I have more apple juice. Just gonna continue to add more apple juice. Okay. Right now, the broth is still very milky. I want to do it until the broth is very clear. Then I know I have enough apple juice into the pot. That's 
cho cô nhân chia lời kể các bảo vệ của cậu cháu để chủ rồi nè nè let's add more apple juice I'm about done with apple juice cô cho cô apple ta rồi nè from now on I am just gonna scoop out the hard broth on the side and continue to pour it into the pot of tofu so on xin nè nè cô cho cô apple ta lời kể của cô dầu tứ dầu cho cô nè nè cho là mùi dư cho tàu là sữa Okay. Let's reduce the heat a little bit lower. Now that my apple juice is gone, I am going to set my time for about 20 minutes. I like my tofu to be uh, not as soft. And so I like to cook it for about 20 minutes after I finish the apple juice to get a more firm of a tofu. If you like your tofu to be very soft, you can uh, maybe cook for another 10 or 15 minutes. But I like mine to be uh, not as soft. I like it to be more firm. Therefore, I usually cook it about 20 minutes after I finish the uh, using the apple juice. Right now, I am adding a couple spoonful of cold water. That's the shinana. When silly, oh, bet yeah, that's the shinana. The water, the cold water here, it's helped to uh, even out the uh, flavor of the tofu. And then I'm going down deep under, okay, under of the pot. A couple spoon under of the pot. Moli oh, dear, they much of a look at the goat here. It got what you call. The cold water here is helping uh, the broth to be not as sour and has an even uh, taste broth and flavor. You could see the broth now it's getting clearer and not as milky. So again, I am going to continue okay, pouring the hot water over the tofu, cook until my 20 minutes is up. Okay, it's looking very pretty. Okay, tofu is forming very nicely. We are finished making our authentic mong tofu. The heat is off now. The not yet. Lu lo cao tàu ba tàu chú ua tía lờ nơ. Mong thật tàu tua lờ. Quân chia lìa ua tàu đau bầu. The tofu, it solidified beautifully and the broth is very clear. Okay, let's check out the broth. Okay, look at the broth. It's very clear just like water. What we have here is a, a grilling skillet. And I have a piece of 100% cotton cloth that I sew and a bag of Ziploc bag rice that I'm going to make a piece of tofu. This is going to add weight into the tofu. The tofu then will be used to make soup or stir fry. The Okay, so this is what we do. Okay. Open up the cloth like this. Okay. 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 We are here making a piece of a solid tofu to be used in stir fry or soup. Okay, you want to uh, make the piece of tofu right away after you turn off the heat. Okay. So, get this closer. This is a lot of tofu. We are not going to be able to use it all. So, just put the tofu on there. The colander is going to drain. Okay. 
flower? Does it burn you? No? I think that should be enough. Okay. So let's bring it over to the table. Let's bring it to the table and this is how we're going to do it. So now that I have the tofu um, on the cloth and it's draining through the calendar, I am going to fold my cloth over. Uh, I am going to fold this over the tofu and fold it this way. Yeah, not here, and then fold it this way. This is a piece of tofu. Okay, yeah, not here. Okay, just like this again. And then next, I am adding the rice. The bag of rice is to add weight onto the tofu to make a piece of tofu. I am going to leave it for several hours until um, the tofu becomes a piece. Okay, just like this. ยลนอยตายตอปาตอจัวนะกาติเตียกาลาชิหิงนี่เลอะจะตอนนะเป็นมองตายตอปาตอจัวนะมากาหิงนี่เลอะจะพงอยู่นะ